Welcome to this short video where I'm just going to highlight the, the bagpipe uh, music writing software that I've come across and I'm using. It was recommended to me in some bagpipe Facebook groups. There's lots of great softwares out there, but I'm finding Celtic Pipes 3 to be very, very nice, very impressive. Um, so I'm just going to highlight a few of the features here. Um, so for dropping notes into Celtic Pipes 3, I'll have a link below if you'd like to check out their free trial, which I found very nice um, to get the hang of it. Um, to, to just put down notes, we can just simply click and drag notes here on the side. Hopefully you can see my mouse there. We have whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note. So if I want to repeat this, I can do an eighth note here. And then I want a 16th note. So I grab that 16th note with two tails and I can just simply click and click. And then I can unselect the 16th note and I want another eighth note. And I'm just repeating this first phrase here in this Carol of Bells. Boom, right there, I can unclick that note. And then I can click and drag this whole piece and then connect them. And there we have it connected. I can also, that little plus, I can unconnect, I can unconnect them as well with that. Oh, not that one. <laughs> one of these ones. Oh, there we go. There I can unconnect them with that minus one down there. So that's, that's a handy way. And then the little grace note, we can click and add in here as well, where we want those grace notes. If I want to back up, I just hit control Z and I back up each of those steps take away all those steps if I wanted to back up, or I could select that note and just hit delete and that would back me up as well. Another way rather than clicking and dragging to select multiple notes is you can click a note, hold down the shift key and click on the other notes. If you're holding down the shift key and then multiple notes will highlight. Um, another quick way I'm doing, I'm actually wanting to repeat this same phrase so I can click, drag, highlight the whole thing right click and copy and then right click and paste and boom i have all all the notes that i want including the grace notes so way quicker way easier and and this this check mark up here i find really helpful this green check mark if you click and unclick if you don't have the right amount of notes in the bar um it will show up red so for example let's just get rid of this eighth note here and I think just my internet's a little slow with the recording but if I oh yeah there we go <laughs> now everything's selected if so that is one thing with Celtic pipes if your internet bandwidth is a little bit slow um that can that can slow things down so I'm recording this video it's it's slowing down my internet a bit so I've highlighted that eighth note I'm going to delete that eighth note and then we double check the bar and typically it would show up red, but again, we're running into that internet bandwidth trouble there. But it, it will typically show up red if you don't have the right amount of beats in the bar. So I'm gonna add that in. Another handy button, this button here uh, with the little arrows, it, it shifts everything to be more similar, similar length between the notes. So, so that's kind of handy as well. Um, and and then in this tune we actually i'm going to right click on this bar go bar copy bar paste and then i can click those little arrows above the the blue notes and and then i have that second bar down if those bars are a little bit squished down here i can shift the bar length to to make it a little bit more similar um and then i can unselect that and for embellishments, other embellishments are down in here. And we can even use, there's, there's all the doublings here as well. So quite handy. Um, and, then, and then what do we have next in the tune? So next we're going up to uh, F. Yeah, so, and we're actually, I'm gonna do another bar copy and bar paste because it's actually the same embellishments the same sequence of notes but all all we're doing differently is i'm just going to click and hold and drag that note up to a f 
because because we just it's the same pattern but we just have different notes here da, and now we need a da, da. we need that one on the e and it looks a little funny but i'll hit that green arrow button at the top and hopefully that fixes that and then this one will will end up on the d so let's see if that so it just we just need to pull pull this note out a bit spread them out a little bit so the program knows they're separate notes oh and it's wanting to put them together again <laughs> okay so what what i can do is i can just i'll just delete that one i'll pull up a 16th note here and i'll drop that 16th note there for some reason it's tied it to the other one isn't that interesting so what we can do and this is partly why i'm making this video let's just highlight all of this bar unconnect everything okay there we go and can we connect just um just these first grouping can we connect that? There we go. It made it. So you see, I just had to kind of problem solve. And, and that's partly why I'm doing this video is, and I hit that green arrow button to shift them. So that's partly why I'm doing this video because sometimes these softwares, there's just little, little gimmicks and there's a way around it, but you don't figure it out until you play around with it a bit. So in the hours and hours I've spent playing around with this, I'm hoping in this 10 minute video or so I can, I can save you a whole lot of time. Another thing in this video, like, a lot of my tunes I wrote over a decade ago, and I was just so intimidated to start using a bagpipe software. And it's actually been a really, really awesome experience. And I've really enjoyed this Celtic Pipes software. Uh, I'm just going to shift these bars a little bit more. Beauty! Nice! And da 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 da. So the only thing is we need this whole section is, is wrong. We want to just repeat this one. So I'm going to highlight copy, paste, and this is so nice for my free work, for my free workshop. Oh, it didn't, it uh, went back down to the D. What's going on? Let's, okay. Da, 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 da. Let's see here. Let me give it a play. Oh, I see. This this one has to be up at the F. That's all. And another way, so I just noticed that, but you know, you might not notice you have the wrong note there until you do the playback. So down here, let's down here we can hit play. So we hear it play there. The one thing I found about the play, I'm going to change the beats per minute down here. Let's try. Let's try 90, that, that was like a little bit quick. Or even, shall we try? Oh uh, yeah, let's try 90, see what that's like. So I'm just gonna put 90 down there. And the beat, the um, a dotted quarter note gets the beat. Yeah, I guess so, let's, let's uh, give that a go. Yeah, so we hear at the end there, Da, 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 da. It's like, oh, that's the wrong note. So I'm going to pull that F up. There we go. And now we got the right note there. I can highlight that. Control C for copy and then write. And we can paste that. We're not doing a bar paste. We're just, we're just doing a, a paste. Da, 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 da. There we go. That's, that's what we want. And this whole bar, we're actually going to repeat that whole bar. So now we'll do the bar copy and the bar paste right there. And we can even up those notes up here. Um, and that is looking a bit squished. I have it in a, like a vertical alignment. You can do that page on a horizontal alignment, which will be a little bit less squishy. So that's, that's definitely okay to do. And I did that playback. One thing, I feel like it's a bit fast. I'm going to drop it down to 85 and see what that's like. One thing I will say about this playback is it, it, it just is a bit, um, it seems to mess up the first few notes. It's like it doesn't quite get into the proper beats per minute until 
the end of the first bar or the start of the second bar. So if it's sounding a little bit odd to you, the very the first half of the first bar, don't panic. You probably have it written right. It's just that playback feature is a little bit wonky. So, um, but after that first half of the first bar, it's good to go from there. Um, but that's just something I found. But hopefully uh, that'll be fixed on a on an update. Caltech Pipes does send out updates, so hopefully that'll that issue will come around. So let's listen to that playback. Beauty, yeah. So that's sounding that's sounding perfect to me. I like that tempo. It's got all the right notes, and we're we're, we're done the first we're done the first line, um, and then we're going to want to repeat after the second line. Whoops! So I can put a repeat. I'm going to hit Control Z. I got the wrong one. This is the one we want. So we're going to repeat there. So when I fill in the second line, um, now we'll know it's a repeat at the end there. And this this next bit we're going to work on it's 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 quite a bit different than the first bit. Now we go into into the little runs up. So when we're going into those runs up, it's quite a bit different. So I'm going to start from scratch with dropping dropping these these notes in one at a time again. But let's just say, like a lot of tunes, maybe the first three bars are the same as the first three bars in, in the previous line. We can just simply go right click, line copy, right click, line paste, and boom, we have the whole line. And maybe we just need to then, you know, a lot of tunes, we just need to redo the second line and maybe like we did before, pull pull a couple pull a couple notes up or down and boom you're all you're all done that line so just as a that's not the case in this song we're going into a little bit different part altogether so I'm going to go back to the note clicking and dragging and and the grace note again is up here funny enough this tune I, I don't maybe I have one in, one doubling at the very end but otherwise it's all grace notes um, but if you need a D throw boom you just grab it down here drop it in. Um, so it's it's very 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 handy to 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 drop in any of those embellishments as well. So so that's that's something that I've found really easy to use as well. And it's just not dropping in there. I'm not sure. Maybe again it's my internet just because I'm I'm filming as well here. Yeah. So so anyway, yeah, we can drop in that. Yeah. Anyway, that's Celtic Pipes 3. Don't be shy about giving it a free trial or trying another free music software. Gordy, how you doing? <laughs> and then my time is obviously up for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck with your pipe music rating. Feel free to click on the link below to check it out, uh, Celtic Pipes, or look at my free sheet music. Thanks again. Yeah, you can have a big toy ambulance. Hooray! <laughs>